Public bus and train fares will increase by 7% or up to 11 cents per journey from late December following a fare review exercise. Uh, it's less than the full quantum of 22.6% increase allowable. The Public Transport Council says that this is needed to keep fares affordable amid higher costs. The government will cover the rest of the hike with a $300 million subsidy. Every journey will now cost up to 10 to 11 cents more for adults. If you hold a concession card, the increase will be capped at 5 cents. But for seniors, students and national servicemen who buy a monthly concession pass, they'll pay about 10 percent less. A new monthly concession pass was also introduced for low-wage workers. They'll pay $96 for a monthly pass. These changes will benefit about 60,000 new and existing commuters. To support the vulnerable commuters, PTC has decided to implement a lower increase for the fare for about 2 million concession card holders. We have also reduced the prices of the hybrid monthly concession passes to allow more commuters to cap their public transport expenses to the price of these passes. Under the new fare adjustment formula announced in April, the PTC can defer fare increases to future years. So instead of allowing transport operators to increase fares by the full 22.6%, it only allowed a 7% increase. The remaining fare height is paid for with a $300 million government subsidy. However, an industry watcher warns government subsidies may not be sustainable in the long run, and commuters will eventually have to bear the increases. In the future, if we have more uh, spending needs, on the aged population, things like that, uh, you know, we may well come to a point where we have to recalibrate the system and ask commuters to pay a bit more uh, so that we reserve more funds for other public needs. To further support lower income households, the government will provide public transport vouchers worth $50. The PTC says that even with the fare increase, most households will spend the same proportion of the income on public transport as they did in 2022.